music. <laughs> Springfield. Um, here at the Mill Surf Garage, we sport the Rock Island Arsenal 03. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's check out some tips and tricks for loading this guy. Now, it's a basic Mauser design here. We have the five round internal magazine spring loaded follower. We got our realistic snap caps right here, completely inert, primer and all, no powder in here. And uh, with these realistic snap caps, we can play around and do uh, demonstrations like this. So first thing we're going to do is uh, let's load it up. Five round internal magazine. Okay. Five. Here's a trick. So you can't get another one in there. You can't get another one in there. Now you can, you can slide this round into the chamber. It will fit in there, right? So now let's just say we slid around into the chamber. You can push the rounds down here and get the bolt over on top of them and close the bolt over a round. Get six rounds in here. There are people that do know this trick. I am definitely not the first to figure that out. However, with this Mauser design and this type of bolt head, this type of extractor, uh, snapping the extractor over the rim of the round is not a good idea. It's not going to do that much before you break the extractor. And uh, with a lot of loading like this, you're going to have problems. I figured out a way. You can press that sixth round down into the magazine and push the bolt forward and pick up that round. So you see the controlled feed captured the round and I don't have to turn the bolt down over it and I'm able to just pick that round up and have it slide underneath the extractor for having six rounds loaded into the mag. Now um, another trick here uh, if we were to close the bolt here we pick up a round like that out of the magazine. If we were to turn the magazine cut off on. Now, we're not picking up rounds out of the magazine anymore. How that's happening is it's not actually doing anything, pushing the rounds down any further in the magazine or anything. All it's doing is stopping the bolt from coming back far enough to go behind the head of this round and pick it up. That's all it is. See, if we were to, it's going back only that far. If we were to turn the magazine cut off off, the bolt would go back just that little bit more to be able to pick up the round. However, you can just drop rounds in here, push them home, and do the same thing. Like I was saying, if you wanted a single fire, you have to snap the extractor over each and every round. Not necessarily. You can still, even though the bolt won't travel far enough back to pick up a round, you can still push single rounds into the magazine on top of the rounds that are there, that are further back, and pick it up underneath the extractor, not to, not to have to worry about damaging it. Again, you just push it into the magazine like you'd normally load, and as you can see, up and in, control feed, and you capture that round. And, uh, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my tips and tricks for loading the O3 Springfield. Yes! Yeah, <laughs>